Hi everyone, and welcome to this demonstration of WriteBack for Power BI. WriteBack is a powerful tool for your Power BI reports that lets your users input data directly through them. WriteBack is a no-code custom visual that writes directly to your database without overwriting your existing data. It includes authentication and auditing to help you govern the solution. Any actionable process can be used with WriteBack, ranging just from a simple comment all the way to updating values on a table or forecasting. Let's get started with a commenting example. Over here, we have a dashboard that lets us see the performance of our shipments across a given quarter and year. And on the top, we can add an analysis that is for the overall year and quarter. This analysis is said to be a rich text field. So in here, we can provide a well-formatted comment with some bullets and colors. In this case, when we save and submit, it automatically updates in our database, and we can see that immediately on WriteBack. But we can also see that immediately on the report using the WriteBack Rich Text Viewer. Alternatively, if we want to provide a comment on a more line by line basis, for example, like in here, where we have some shipments that were late, I can select them and provide just a simple text comment without the need for the Rich Text, like the one above. I can do it in here on these two lines that were shipped late. So I can say that we need to look into this, for example, with a mid priority. After I submit and refresh the data, we can see our comments right away displayed over here. On the other hand, if we want to do more actual replacing of the values, we can do that too. So for example, in here, I can select the product, update its quantity, profit, and sales. And by doing that, and once again, refreshing the data, we're going to see our new values showing immediately on the report. So as I mentioned earlier, this doesn't actually affect your source data. And what's happening behind the scenes is, is that we are using a calculation, or in this case, actually three calculations, to show the value that we need. As write back data now exists for this product, it's what we are showing instead of the original value. If we want to do this operation on multiple products at the same time, we can also do that, for example, using the write back data grid. In this case, we can select multiple rows. For example, I can select these four rows over here and then bring them into write back to submit. I can type through here, or I can even copy from an Excel file and paste across the table. Of course, I can still make modifications directly on Power BI, but then when I'm done with my entries, I can submit. And once again, after refreshing the data, we're now going to see the values from WriteBack alongside the rest of the values on the table. With this demonstration, we showcase just some of the most common use cases of WriteBack for Power BI. But there's much more you can do. WriteBack allows for flexible user input and supports a variety of actionable processes. You can try WriteBack for free and explore its full potential. If you have any questions or want to learn more, feel free to reach out. Thank you for watching.